Hi guys, uh, it's Truman and uh, Roman. Roman is the uh, master judge at the uh, MSI MOE. So Roman, the uh, stage one end, uh, end up like a few a few minutes ago. I mean, more than a few it's minutes, like, like, a, like an, an hour, hour. <laughs> an hour and a half now. But yeah. yeah. So um, can you say can you tell us what happened during this first stage that was Super Pi 32M? Yeah. Uh, well, in the beginning, um, it's just the usual uh, co uh, going on in a live competition. Uh, people started setting up their, their the complete setup, insulating and. Most of the people spent, I think, too much time on testing the memory instead of just running the benchmark, because in the end, some people had trouble even to get just one run. So uh, in total, we had one guy, I think, uh, going below five minutes in 32M, and I think that the whole competition is pretty close. Uh, so all the CPUs are close to each other, uh, talking about the frequency. So I think it's a very tight competition. It's very good. Very good so far, very good. Okay, so the, the ranking for stage one, as you say, the, there are some people that didn't even submit scores. Um, Actually, there's only one people that didn't submit scores. Yeah, right? Torchio Primo is the only one. He was a bit un unlucky. Uh, he started around like five to ten minutes before the stage ended. And the CPU died at uh, loop 20, I think, which mm -hmm. is pretty unlucky. And he had no time to uh, assemble the system, the with, system a second, again. Uh, with a second CPU. So it was pretty unlucky, yeah. Okay, if we look at the, the ranking, so Lucky Noob is the first for this one, that's the only guy that managed to go below 5 minutes on this benchmark. Yeah. Then we have Extreme Addict and Vivi. Uh, but do you have something to say, especially for these three guys, how did they bench, what happened? I think they just uh, managed to get the, the frequency of the memory quite fast and uh, pretty stable, so they had a lot of time to, to uh, get the CPU run at the right frequency. Vivi figured out the, the right CPU frequency very fast, and he had a lot of time like tweaking the Uncore and everything, so uh, I think it was just the key to get uh, the system to run very, very, uh, very early and do the instruction quickly. Okay, that's good. Uh, actually, there, there was... Um uh, I'm gonna say that uh, an update about the rules about uh, Cinebench. Do you want to talk yeah. a bit more about that? Yeah, okay. Um, Lucky Noob from Indonesia, uh, he found a new tweak in uh, Cinebench. But actually, it's not a tweak only. It's yes. Nothing. He thought he would find it. Uh, he found a tweak, but the thing is, he replaced um, the textures which were rendered uh, with like compressed size. He just resized the textures. So it's actually changing the benchmark. The way the benchmark calculated the, yeah, the, the, the calculation of the benchmark. So we had to ban that uh, the tweak, and we took some example screenshots of how the, the benchmark looks with uh, and without the tweak. Mm -hmm. So we can now compare if somebody used the tweak, and everybody knows about it. So I think that should not be a problem. Okay, that's nice. You're gonna also update the SJW bot rules about that. Right? Yeah, sure, sure. So let's face it, changing the way the benchmark is calculating itself yeah it's not allowed right yeah that's correct, correct. Cheating, right? It's, it's always a cheat if you uh, change the way the benchmark is doing the calculation okay I got it um, the stage 2 is uh, 23 minutes left so um, we're gonna have maybe another update for stage 2 that sure, is Cinebench sure. uh, yeah. or uh, 11.5 so let's see um, what's going on after right. okay Thanks. welcome bye guys Pushing it. Yeah. <laughs>